Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are concerned about privacy and also want to prevent unauthorized access to your webcam, then just to show you how you can secure your webcam on Windows 11. Now, the first would be to stop and prevent apps from using your webcam. So there might be a couple of apps that you are concerned could be a privacy issue. So to stop apps from using your webcam, we just head to our settings in Windows 11. If you don't know where settings is, just do a search uh, in the OS. And for this, we head over to privacy and security and we scroll down till we get camera. And yeah, you've got the apps that can access your camera. Now, if you don't want any apps to access your camera, you can obviously just uh, turn off the feature completely. Or you can toggle off any app that you don't want access as mentioned and prevent app, that app from using your webcam. Obviously, this will be according to your own personal choice and preference. And then something else you can do is you can turn off your webcam for specific websites. Now, I'm going to demonstrate using Chrome, Edge and Firefox. So for Google Chrome, what you would do is in the browser, to turn off your webcam for specific websites, you would head to your main menu, head into your settings, head over to privacy and security, and head to site settings. And here you'll see under permissions camera. Now I don't have any uh, specific websites that um, are asking to use my camera. But what you would do is once you've selected camera if you do find the site you want to remove camera access from and then you would click that site select the camera and then there would be a drop down menu and you can choose block okay so that's what you would see if you have any sites that are accessing your webcam I don't in Google Chrome or any of my browsers actually so that's how you do it in Chrome and in Microsoft Edge, if we head into Edge, for this we also head to our main menu, Settings, Cookies and Site Permissions, and here we're looking for Camera. And what you would do in the Allow section is if you have a site, you could find that site you want to remove camera access from once again, and you would click the Trash Pin or icon next to that site to remove and revoke camera access from that site. Once again, I don't have any, but I'm sure you would get the general idea. And last but not least, for the purpose of this video, would be Firefox. And once again, for Firefox, we head up to our main menu, settings, privacy and security. And on this page, we are looking for permissions. Here we go. And you click the settings toggle next to camera. And in the open window, you'd find the site you want to obviously remove webcam access from. Very similar to Chrome and Edge. And if there is a site here, you would click a drop down menu. And then you would just choose block. Then at the bottom, you would click save changes. So that's how you uh, prevent um, a site access in your webcam in the Firefox web browser. Now that's the browsers out of the way. And then something else you can do is you can turn off remote desktop, which is a feature that allows people to remotely access your PC's webcam. So if you don't use this feature, or obviously you're worried about unauthorized access, or um, that someone might use it to activate your webcam without you knowing, you can turn off this feature. So once again, we head back into our settings for this, we head to the system page, scroll down until we get near the bottom and you see remote desktop. Now, you can see that I do not have a remote desktop because I'm running the home edition of Windows 11 that doesn't support remote desktop. But here at the top of the page, um, you'll see to the top right here, you'll see the toggle to turn off remote desktop. So you will just toggle that off to turn off the feature. And then something else you can try is to keep your webcam drivers up to date because if you have outdated drivers 
hackers can exploit the outdated drivers um, to get access to your system. So for this, we're going to head over to the Legacy Device Manager. And the simplest would be to right-click on your Start menu, click on Device Manager. And in the Device Manager, to the left here, you'll see Camera. Um, just expand that. And then you double-click on your camera. In the Camera dialog, what you would do is you would head over to the Driver tab at the top. And here you'll see the Update Driver toggle you'd click on that and here you can search automatically for drivers so that'll search um your computer for drivers it says the best drivers for your device already installed or you can search for updated drivers on windows update and if you have any other software you can browse my computer for drivers but um the top toggle i think will be your best option to try and keep your webcam drivers up to date and then while we are still in the device manager, something else you can do as, as quite a drastic measure is you can actually disable the webcam. So to do this, what we would do is we would just right click on the set entry, disable device, you can see that, click on that, you'll see um, the device will cause it to stop functioning. Do you really want to? Yes. And there we go. So now my um, webcam on this device has been disabled and just on a side note in the future you can re-able the camera by right clicking the camera in the device manager once again and just clicking on enable device and there we go everything is back to normal and working a and okay and then obviously it goes without saying as a so-called last resort what you can do um, the easy way would be just to put a piece of tape over the camera lens or a little piece of plastic or a little um container or something of that sort to basically just block the physical view to your camera and that's as a last resort you can cover the webcam by putting a tape a piece of tape on the camera as an example so that's just a couple of um, things you can try to try and secure your webcam on windows 11 if you are concerned about privacy or want to prevent unauthorized access to your camera so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one